Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Deller. Today, we're going to be drafting the entire first round. Before we get into our first pick by the Chicago Bears, the Washington Commanders are going to be having a watch party at National Harbor on April 27th. I'm going to be there with, with some homies. You guys make sure to, to say what's up if you guys see me. I'm going to be trying to meet as many people as possible. I'm going to be trying to grow my content and you know myself as, as much as possible over there. So again, if you guys are there and want to say what's up, you know, I know I'm not Hollywood or anything just yet, but you know, come say what's up to the boy. So with pick number one, Chicago Bears, you know, this has been a lock for the past like two months now, I feel like. Caleb Williams, welcome to Chicago Bears. Now, pick number two, our Washington Commanders, what everybody knows. If you guys have not seen my Washington Commanders mock draft, I'll leave it up in the corner. It is my seven round Commanders mock draft. We're going to take Jaden Daniels. I think Jaden Daniels fits the commander's offense and what uh, Cliff Kingsbury is trying to run over there. And and I feel like Jaden Daniels fits it perfectly. But there are talks about us taking Drake May. If we, if we do take Drake May over Jaden Daniels, I'm okay with it. I kind of want Jaden Daniels a little bit more, but I will take either or. I'm just trying to win some football games, man. So... That being said, I do think at pick number three, the New England Patriots are going to take whoever we don't take. So here in this scenario, they're going to take Drake May since we took Jaden Daniels, vice versa. Pick number four, uh, Arizona Cardinals. They, they've been struggling, struggling, struggling at wide receiver. They have one of the best, you know, one of the best receivers and the, uh, the best wide receiver in this draft in Marvin, Marvin Harrison Jr. at pick number four. Pick number five, we do have the Los Angeles Chargers, but they're going to be trading with the Minnesota Vikings. Now, these trades, I it's too hard to predict these trades. You know, they could go either either way, what teams really want. They, you know, they could stick a pick or they, you know, they could trade away. We're just gonna force trade this because I do see this being a reasonable trade up. Uh, Minnesota Vikings get pick number five, and they're going to take JJ McCarthy uh, as their quarterback at pick number five. Pick number six, we got the New York Giants. These are the ops. We don't like these dudes, but they're going to be taking a dog here at pick number six, man. You know, Malik Neighbors being here, I think it's I think it's a perfect fit. They've been looking for a wide receiver one ever since OBJ left. Uh, hopefully, hopefully not. But you know, if Daniel Jones could give him the ball, he's going to be an absolute beast over there in New York. Tennessee Titans, you know, they're they're gonna be taking a guy. Joe Olt, he's one of the best, he is the best tackle in this year's draft. They're gonna want to protect their young quarterback in Will Levis. Maybe he's the future. So they're gonna take Joe Olt and protect his blind side. So pick number eight, the Atlanta Falcons. You know, they just got Kirko Chains, they just got some receivers. They're building up that offense pretty nicely. Defense is what they're gonna try to build up in this in this draft. And I think Dallas Turner is one of the better defensive players in this year's draft and i feel like he is going to atlanta now pick number nine chicago bears are back on the clock they have two top 10 picks in the nfl draft that is that is crazy and i think they are going to be you know doubling up on offense getting their franchise quarterback caleb williams yet another target to just go crazy with in roma dunze that offense is going to be scary now pick number 10 the new york jets I feel like they're going to take a offensive tackle to protect that old man, Aaron Rodgers. Hopefully he can play more than four or five plays this year. They're going to be taking that boy fashion tackle out of Penn state to, to protect Aaron Rodgers. A pick 11, the Los Angeles chargers are on the clock after trading with the Minnesota Vikings and they need help at running back wide receiver, tight end anywhere on the offense, really. But Brock Bowers being so talented and basically being an extra wide receiver up there, I feel like the Los Angeles Chargers are going to pick up Brock Bowers here with the number 11 pick. Breaking news. So the NFL draft is literally just a few days away. And so I'm going to be having a watch party for the NFL draft here over on my Twitch, um, twitch.tv slash it's Deller. Links will be in the description. And as you can see here, we are 21 followers away till 300 followers. 
So if you guys could just go over there, drop just drop a follow. It's free. You know, it's it takes two seconds. Show some love. I really do appreciate it. And make sure you come through for the NFL draft. We're gonna be, you know, we're gonna be lit. So make sure you come through. Back to the video. Pick 12, we do have the Denver Broncos. Now here it's it's they're kind of in a weird situation because you know it's too early to 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 take a quarterback and reach for a quarterback, and it's too early to to reach for a wide receiver. So I just think they're going to go take a another one, uh, the second best defensive player in this draft. I feel like is Jared Verse. I feel like I'm just going to build up that defensive line, try to help get to that quarterback. Pick 13. We got the Las Vegas Raiders, and this pick, they're just trying to protect whoever is going to be playing quarterback for them. Who who knows who that's going to be? But they're going to take that boy, Fuwanga, out of Oregon State. 14, New Orleans Saints. Again, they got another old man back there. They're going to try to protect them. This is going to be Tackle out of Washington, Troy Futanu. Indianapolis Colts are up next. You know, they need a wide receiver or a DB. And you see Cooper DeGene sitting there, but I think it's going to be Quinion Mitchell, uh, corner out of Toledo. I am not too high on this guy, but I do think the Colts will go ahead and pick him up and take a shot with him, and we can see how he goes. Pick 16, we got the Seattle Seahawks, you know, my boy Sam Howe over there, but they're going to be taking a defensive player here, helping that defensive line, help getting to that quarterback in lot two here out of UCLA. Pick 17. We got the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I have them taking a corner here. And, you know, Cooper DeGene is still here. He's ranked eighth best player. Now, I think Terrion Arnold is the best corner in this year's draft, and they're going to be taking him with pick 17. All right, pick 18, the Cincinnati Bengals. They need a tight end, but Brock Bowers, unfortunately, did not fall to them. So they're just going to pick up again. They're going to build on that defensive line try to get to the quarterback they're going to take byron murphy out of texas the reason why we didn't take jazir newton with the with the 18th pick to the Bengals is because he's been playing a lot of the edge over there at illinois and By uh, byron murphy was like a true inside line guy so that is the reason why we took him at 18 sure pick 19 we got the los angeles rams on the clock and they're going to be taking jc latham they're going to try to protect that old man and Matthew Stafford over there in L.A. for as long as possible. So they're going to get some O-line help. Bo Nix or Michael Penix could, uh, you know, go here at pick 19 with how uh, aging Matthew Stafford is getting. But they're going to just take a tackle here, get it out of the way. Maybe they can get a quarterback later in the draft or maybe trade up for a quarterback. But for here at pick 19, they're going to go tackle. 20. Pittsburgh Steelers, y'all, Pittsburgh Steelers, y'all got y'all y'all gonna be happy, bro. I got y'all taking Brian Thomas. The dude is 6'4 and ran a man ran a 4'340. Matching him up with um George Pickens, having that two double-headed, you know, demons out there. That's gonna be crazy. And now this class is really deep in tackles, and we have another one uh leaving the board here and Marius Mims. You know, they're going to just try to protect Tua as much as possible. You know, try to lay off the concussions. So, our various Mims at number 21 to the Miami Dolphins. We got another op, Philadelphia Eagles. Here, they need, a, you said, you know, DBs. They haven't had really any good DBs other than uh, Darius Slay over there. Now, I was leaning more towards Cooper DeGene or Nate Wiggins. I think the Philadelphia Eagles are going to be taking Cooper DeGene just because he could play safety, corner, all over the field. He's like a Swiss Army knife over there. So uh, Philadelphia Eagles will be taking Cooper DeGene at pick 22. Now the Minnesota Vikings are back on the clock at pick 23. You know, they, they just lost uh, Daniel Hunter to the Texans. Now Jarzeer Newton is such a weird, weirdly ranked player. I didn't really know where to take, take him here, but the Vikings are going to take their defensive line help here after losing Daniel Hunter a pick 24 we got the Dallas Cowboys the biggest up of them all um you know they're just gonna be be adding to the offensive line help they just lost Tyron Smith so they're gonna replace him with Graham Barton here tackle out of Duke pick 25 the the Green Bay Packers 
are going to get another corner help to help out uh, Jahir Alexander and Nate Wiggins. Nate Wiggins had an injury in the combine. Don't believe it's anything too serious. He will be hopefully good to go by the start of the season and hopefully will be a dog over there for the Packers. Tampa Bay Buccaneers here at pick 26. I'm just going to take another edge and chop Robinson. So chop is ranked really low for what I believe he actually is. And I, I feel like chop is going to go here to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Arizona Cardinals are back on the clock after taking Marvin Harrison Jr. And I feel like they, they got their, their wide receiver offensive guy. Now they're going to go uh, loop back around and take their defensive dude and Kool-Aid McKinstry corner out of Alabama. Pick 28, the Buffalo Bills are on the clock and they desperately need some wide receivers. I believe Curtis Samuel is their wide receiver number one. So they're going to be taking Adonai Mitchell, wide receiver out of Texas. He's 6'4", super fast. Good fit for the Buffalo Bills. Pick 29 is another uh, weird one. We have the Detroit Lions. Now, Darius Robinson, again, is one of those guys who's ranked super low, but I've seen him in, in other mock drafts go way before 29. And I feel like they're going to take Darius Robinson to add on to their D-line and hopefully rush that quarterback more. The pick 30, Baltimore Ravens. Now, they just got Derrick Henry. They got El Freaky, Lamar Jackson. Uh, they're going to take an offensive tackle, hopefully build up that front O-line so that they could just, you know, do the the Ravens thing and run all over people. So they're going to be taking Tyler Guy in tackle out of Oklahoma. Pick 31. You got the San Francisco 49ers. Unfortunately, I do think they are going to be taking an offensive tackle and the best one left on the board is Jordan Morgan. And if you guys have seen my Commanders mock draft, you guys have you guys saw that I have him going to the Washington Commanders in the second round and unfortunately his stock has risen so much this past week uh it's about more than likely he's going to go in the first round unfortunately so if we are going to want to get him we're going to have to move up trade up because he's not going to fall to us in the second round ready pick 32 we got the super bowl champions kansas city chiefs now their wide receivers are pretty bad right now. They got Hollywood Brown, and then they have Rasheed Rice, who's dealing with a lot of off-field trouble. Who knows if he will play this year. So they're going to go ahead and take a super speedster and Xavier Worthy with the final pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. All right, so yeah, boys, that has been my first round of the 2024 NFL Draft. If you guys have anything different please 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 let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit a like if you guys enjoy any of my content make sure you hit that sub button and again if you guys are going to the washington commander's watch party make sure you stop by say what's up i'm gonna be there all day long yeah i appreciate you guys for watching this video and i'm gonna be out of here peace